Okay, in this particular video we're being asked to solve this particular equation. In other words, find out the value of x. Um, so it looks a little bit tricky because we've got this 1 over 9 fraction at the end of it. But the same principles apply. What we need to do is to make sure that if we're taking away two fractions from one another, we need to make sure that the denominator is the same. So in this particular case, I'm going to make the denominator 3x. So I'm going to make this something over 3x minus 10 over 3x and that equals 1 over 9. Okay, so the question is, what have I done to this x to become 3x? In other words, what have I multiplied the x by? Well, I've multiplied it by 3 so I'm going to multiply the top numerator by 3 as well. And that becomes 3 over 3x. OK, now if I bring these two together, I've then got 3 minus 10 over 3x equals 1 over 9. All righty. And then it's a case of just manipulating this until we find the value of x itself. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work this out as minus 7 over 3x equals 1 over 9. All right, now uh, it's probably easier at this point for me to cross multiply. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply those two together and those two together. And what I'm actually going to get is minus 63 equals 3x. And then it's a case of dividing through by 3, so I get x equals minus 21. And that's the answer to this particular question. Um, I hope that's been okay for you. Um, I know it looks a little bit daunting when you see a fraction, or you see fractions around the place, but actually, providing you remember that you can cross multiply like that, then that might help you a little bit. Um, please do have a look at some of the other videos within the playlist, subscribe to the site, add a comment below if you're not sure, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.